my companies are firing their whole QA team in 2025 and 26. Why I believe that? Stop before you click away. If you are a QA manual tester or want to become an automation tester, right? I'm about to reveal some of the important things that can save your career or end it. Till now, July 2025, more than one lakh of jobs worker have been laid off by Microsoft, like giant like Google, right? There are multiple ones, you know. Analysis basically is telling that almost 500 plus jobs or workers are losing their jobs due to AI in 2025. So can you imagine the data is very scary? What is going on this new phase? Why is it the AI is the only behind the scene which is because of rising job cuts or there is other reason? Today, we will be discussing about three major reasons which what exactly is happening. I'm going to give you a plan. What you need to do if you are a manual tester, already an automation tester, what is the plan that you need to follow step by step? Let's go with this. Reason number one, which I am pretty much sure. Let me show you with the roadmap, which is this that I have analyzed over hundreds of jobs guys i have a qa job board which i'm running i'm connecting directly with the hrs the most important one why qa teams are getting total qa teams are going out or it is going to be reduced overall in techion also we have seen where manual tester we have directly told them either you learn automation or go away many people have already gone away and because of performance because of they are not learning because they are not able to understand we have let them go this is a reality check which is going on right now. number one reason which i believe which is especially happening is cost cutting especially because of ai see ai if you believe it or not definitely ais are coming into our system and let me tell you a very scary thing which we have seen it in our organization also there are people there are ai related guidelines how to use AIs are there, private AIs or private uh, GPTs are already available. You can use them and you can increase the productivity. You know, one of the scary thing which we have done recently, we have given the same test case to the manual testers team and we have given the same test case to two person. Like for example, here we had almost five people and here we have two people with the AI. And can you imagine these team with AI uh, was able to finish or was able to write the test cases within one or one and a half day, where this team has taken almost one week or 10 days working days. So this was one of the thing which is happening right now. And you have to be scary for this. You have to scared for this. Yes, the reason is this. There are a number of articles which are basically here, right? Will AI going to replace the queue engineer? Let me tell you, before this, I had the answer that no, it is not going to replace. But what we have, what I have seen especially, which I'm going to tell you, which is maturity of the AI driven test automation, as well as testing, which is going on right now in the market. The more context we are giving to AI. So we have our private GPTs or private LLMs that we are running in our operation also. So the Jira IDs we have trained. So we have given him, given the AIs more and more context by using MD files. And can you imagine, let me tell you the reality. You just give them the Jira ID, they will prepare the test. So let me show you what exactly is coming. This is the one. There are agents that we have trained right now. There is a test designer AI agent that can design the test case. There is another one test reviewer, which will review the test case. There is a test creator AI, which will create add review, both of them and review and even bug reporter AI is there, which will basically uh, check if there are bugs in the system overall also. So can you imagine QA normal work is getting replaced by the AI agents right now? Of course. Now the real question is, sir, is it like completely AI agents are going to replace you? No, you definitely need a manual review, but amount of efforts can you imagine is less. So it means five people versus two people with AI. Now this is what is happening right now. And that's why I told everyone that if you are a manual tester, 2025 will be very scary for you to, to understand this. This is second important reason that you should be aware of. Third reason, which I think, which I generally call this previously, when manual testers were there, the sole responsibility, if you want to upgrade was to jump into the automation world, right? But now since automation is there, plus AI also has come. So you have to be a T-shaped engineer or a SZ, which means first it was only the automation. Now it is AI plus automation, which is basically added in this. Okay. That was in browser stack, July, 2025 reports highlight that defect detection plus developer led testing shorten the recycle, which means people are introducing more and more shift left testing with the AI driven, you can say agents, which help them to review their test cases, to prepare your test plan. And the more and more context these AIs have, the more and more the smaller kind of task which you used to do, right? It is going to be replaced, which I am personally think. So these are the three things which is happening right now in the market, which I told you also that definitely my conclusion overall for this is whole QA team will be replaced maybe soon. I don't know. But again, what I think conclusively is definitely there will be job cuts related to QA. 
if you are not adding the skill of qi uh, automation and ai into this you are going to be replaced definitely if you are very good in understanding the ai or validation and everything then only you are going to survive in the future qa roles uh, rather than that i don't think so if you are someone who doesn't take responsibility who has a poor communication just do whatever whatever is told right you have a scary future my friend this is a warning which i'm going to give you please in 2025 i have already given the road map how to learn the 30 day ai challenge also which are, we have already discussed how basically ai thing that you need to learn generative ai things we have already prepared there are a lot of videos around it i have already prepared how to learn and add automation plus ai especially into this right these are the thing that you can basically know and also i would highly encourage that you should start following the overall our 400 days of road map where we learn automation by the introducing ai in this case okay so if you need all the links let me know in the chat like and subscribe what do you think that is ai going to replace you soon what is happening right now in the market i want to know from your comments in the chat what exactly is happening in your company what exactly is happening tell me in the chat i will be there i will reply each and every one comment ai in the chat i will give you all the road maps i will give you 30 day plan of learning ai also test cases and couple of important uh, tutorials as well as invite to my asdet club uh, as asdet club school community where we are learning ai i have given you a free course how to learn generative ai git course and everything i will invite you also just type ai in the chat and i will definitely share the links with you with the invite so that thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video bye bye enjoy and stay awesome and keep learning